Uh, thanks very much. Uh, our water quality technician, Patty Hansen, is going to help me with this presentation. She didn't trust me to do it by myself, so. Uh, we're going to talk uh, as from a water utility perspective. We uh, hope our, our um, presentation complements that of, of the two previous ones. Uh, the District of Lake Country uh, is the area between Vernon and Kelowna uh, as you go through an I Highway 97 to Vernon. Uh, we uh, ser service the area around Wood Lake and the east shores of uh, Kalamalka Lake and over to Okanagan Lake. So 20% uh, of our water supply comes from the mainstream lakes, Okanagan Lake and Kalamalka Lake, and 80% of our water is supplied from the upper plateau. Over the years, we've had a, a number of studies as, as have been discussed here. Uh, the most recent one is the uh, hydrological impact of the mountain pine beetle infested stands and proposed retention plan that was sponsored by Tolco Industries and uh, done by Dobson Engineering. Uh, in this plan, uh, in 2006, uh, our ECA, our equivalent clear cut area, was around 25%. And we've been in that area for the last 30 years, uh, somewhere between 20 and 30 percent ECA. Um, the current situation that we uh, just received from TOLCO uh, is that we are in about 37, 38 percent ECA now. And uh, with the leading pine stands, if if 70% of those are destroyed uh, or under attack, uh, we may get to that 75% ECA. Uh, so we, we are heavily impacted by the uh, uh, mountain pine beetle, but it's only just begun in our watershed. We've seen with all the other speakers this morning, uh, the hydrological impacts are increased runoff, earlier runoff and increased sedimentation. So to that end, we were going to, uh, uh, we began uh, elevated water management to, to try and address, address these issues. And I'll let Patty tell you about the, uh, some of the, the measures we've taken. Thanks, Jack. Uh, so um, with Increased mountain pine beetle, increased logging, there's increased access. So on these access roads um, and throughout the forest, the drainage and the flows into our NCDs, the non-classified drainages, have increased substantially. And this is bad for us. These drainages go into our main creeks, which go into our intakes. Um, an area such as the top one, we could see an impact from that within six hours of having reached the creek. Uh, what this does to us is not only a water quality advisory, but um, in the past we've also had to put on a boil water notice. Uh, the second picture here was taken on Tuesday at our most recent uh, mountain pine beetle tour. It's located within a small scale salvage block, also within a lakeshore management zone very close to our drinking water reservoir and the outflow of our lake. Our initial block walk, we asked that they address access in this sensitive area. Uh, mostly we wanted cattle out of that area and ATVs out of that area. So Ministry of Forest and Range, uh, small scale salvage, ranchers, uh, some of the stakeholders collaborated and they came up with this natural barrier fence that we think looks pretty good. We're hoping that it works and that we can recommend its use in other areas in the watershed. So as uh, you've heard, more water, more quantity, more frequency. We've made application to the Ministry of Environment Water Stewardship to raise our drinking water reservoir levels. We have three reservoirs. We've re um, asked that we raise them by five feet on each one. 
This is going to impact stakeholders and as such this application is currently under process. Uh, we made the application about a year and a half ago. What, importantly, what we wanted them to understand is that what happens above is of great consequence to us below. We have primary disinfection. We do not have additional treatment at this time. So if we've got a bad turbidity event coming down, we're in trouble. One of our major jobs that we do is work with a major licensee in each of the watersheds. We go over, give them our recommendations and comments on forest development plans, forest stewardship plans. Uh, always we're doing walk, or walk, uh, walking the blocks um, in what we consider the most sensitive area being from the outflow of our reservoir to our intake which at any time uh, impact in there is six hours so those are the most important spots. Another important thing that we're doing is this comprehensive drinking water source to tap ass assessment. Uh, very similar to what Rini's done, um, we actually took theirs and we've fine-tuned it a bit which I think will keep happening. Um, we wouldn't even be able to do this without funding from Okanagan Basin Water Board. So thank you.